Hello everyone, this is Chelsea from Those With Words. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm here to share with you a quick unboxing of the Traveler's Company 2024 Diary and a couple other um, products that I bought from them. I purchased all of these directly from the official website, which is travelerscompanyusa.com. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that I want to show you is this beautiful olive leather tag that has the Traveler's Company 2024 theme, Traveler's Town. And I got this tag because I purchased through the official Traveler's Company USA website and I ordered with a friend to make sure that our total was at least 75 USD. And um, this is a first come, first serve, so I'm not sure if they have this anymore on the website, but um, as of our ordering date, it was still there. So I managed to get this tag, which is really, really beautiful. It has this gold foiling on it, and it has those two holes, so you can put it through the rubber band of the Traveler's Notebook. How I'm planning to use this next year is I have this Olive Passport Traveler's Notebook and it's already got a bunch of charms on it. So how I'm going to use this is I'm actually going to put these through right here. Um, so I will put it through the rubber band and it'll sort of serve like a little pen holder, if you will, um, unofficially. But I'm just going to put a ballpoint pen right here for next year. So I thought this would be the perfect fit for that. And I'm really excited because the leather matches beautifully with the new olive color. So I think this will be a great setup for next year. And then obviously there are the other amazing 2024 Traveler's Town themed goods. So this is the sticker set, which I end up getting pretty much every single year. I don't really know how Traveler's Company sells me on these themes every single year, but they do. Um, they had some really amazing things over the last couple of years. The um, previous year for 2023 was Traveler's Cafe, which I love coffee. So I did get that sticker set as well. And then this Traveler's Town set has gorgeous gold foiled stickers with various themes and stores like ice cream, bakery, fairy. And I really like this sticker as well. It's got like a patch effect to it. It's just a sticker. It's not a patch material, but it looks like a patch. And I think that's so cool. And then we've got the trusty tabs from Traveler's Company. I use these everywhere. Um, I'm using these right now on my plotter. So let me show you really quickly. I have my planner right next to me and right here is where I'm using all of the tabs and this is from Traveler's Company. They're really sturdy and what I really like about them is that they're basically indestructible. Um, I put my planner into my backpack and my bag and I just go out and about and it's really nice to know that the tabs I don't need to worry about. So I really like these colors as well. So I will definitely be using these. And then these stickers, I actually do use them, especially these ones, the circular ones that are sort of see-through or translucent. I use them in my planner, so in the same plotter that I just showed you to mark time off, um, holidays, paydays, special events, things along those lines. And then these stickers, I don't use them as often, but I do use them for their intended purpose. So if I'm flying anywhere, I do use this flight sticker and then also things like movies or you know if I have a special outing to eat out somewhere I put that there. I should probably make use of these a little bit better but as of right now I just kind of use them for what they look like. And then this pocket sticker I'm actually trying to use more so this is like a really interesting one where these have sticky backs to them, but only in the corners. And there's like a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see that on camera that you can remove. So this little part right here you can remove and then you can put things into this pocket. So things like business cards, ephemera, and then it'll make like an open pocket um, with this beautiful Traveler's Town theme. I am planning to use a couple of these in my upcoming trip. 
And so I will hopefully be able to show you in a future video what that looks like um, once I come back from the trip and show you a little bit of my journal. And then last but not least are these transfer stickers and I have made good use of them before in previous years. So I have them sort of um, all together in this, well, it says 2022 diary, but it's basically all the letter sheets from the previous years that I haven't used yet. They're all just in here together. And as you can see, I've used up quite a good number of them and I have a couple of new ones in the back. And I like to use these on covers or to make headings. Um, inevitably, you run out of the letters that you like to use, especially like the E's and the I's, but I make do with them. And I really like the number transfer stickers as well. So that is that for this sticker sheet or sticker set in the 2024 diary theme. Next up are these clear folders, and I've had one of them before from a previous year, but this is the first time I'm actually buying the regular size. So that'll be really interesting for me. I have never had a regular size clear folder before, and it looks really pretty. I, again, really enjoy the theme this year of this Traveler's Town. And it says, when you're alone, you can always go to Traveler's Town. And they open up like this and there's like a tiny little hole here at the bottom which I typically um, set up in a way where the bookmarks in the traveler's notebook the string bookmarks I just put them through here so that I can really attach this to the traveler's notebook as best as I can um, and then the passport one is blue and it's just like this nice um, slightly more muted blue which is very cute and it says things will be great when you are here welcome to traveler's town with the traveler's notebook logo in the back i think the regular one is similar yeah with the traveler's notebook logo on the back they're really beautiful and I think they're really useful for holding ephemera or in my case, I actually used to use them for receipts. So this is one from a while ago, a couple of years ago. This is when they did the cinema theme and I used to have this in my camel passport traveler's notebook and I strung through the bookmark through this hole like I mentioned. Um, and then I would just keep receipts in here for my credit card expenses just so I could keep track of everything and check everything off at the end of each month. And that was really convenient for me. So as you can see here, it's it's a little dirty, a little worn um, because I did use this one quite a bit. And I'm hoping to use these two more for ephemera when I'm out and about. But again, really excited to have these. Next up are these beautiful pencil boards. I love these so much, along with the sticker set. These are some of the things that I get every year from Traveler's Company. I just really, really enjoy the artwork and the beautiful foiling. The pencil boards or these writing underlays, they didn't always used to have gold foiling. So I have a couple from previous years to show you here. Um, this was the travel theme year and so this does have the gold foiling in it and as you can see it's quite used but then there's this one which is from 2017 this is my oldest writing underlay or pencil board that I have in my collection and it did not have any gold foiling back then so I think um, you know in recent years gold foiling has become a lot more common and this year's theme or next year's theme for 2024 is Traveler's Town, as I have said before. And I love all these little call outs to the different things that they've done before. So Traveler's Records, Diner, Traveler's Train, Hotel, Traveler's Airlines. So those are from the limited editions that were released this past year and, um, and 2022. And I just really love all these little touches and the color scheme as well. The brown and the sky blue really go beautifully together on this one. And the gold foiling here I feel is pretty subtle. It's on a couple of these texts and decorations, but 
not too much and I actually really like that. And then on this passport size one, it's very green and it's like a deeper, slightly bluer green, which I actually really like um, in this um, color scheme. And it's coupled with this deep red and it's got the ice cream parlor, the notebook and coffee. There's a little post office shout out and a little partner shop logo as well, which is really cute. So these I always use in conjunction with my traveler's notebooks. And aside from the two older ones that I showed you, I have other ones that are in use as well. They're just kind of scattered across my existing traveler's notebooks. Um, I use them really often, especially when I'm stamping. And so I'll make sure to have the underlay or the writing board right underneath the page to make sure that the surface is flat. And then I will do my stamping there. It's also really useful if you are writing. So um, if you have a blank notebook and you just want to use this part, the backside of it underneath the page, then these grid lines show through just a little bit, just enough for you to write in a straight line. So I really like them for that as well. Plus, if you ever need a ruler, there are centimeter increments right here. So really, really love these. And then the other three items that I got are actually not related to the 2024 release. I just got them um, for my own needs. So first up is this spiral ring notebook in the A5 size or A5 slim size. And this is the paper pocket version. I thought this would be useful for ephemera. So it's got little pockets here and we have 16 sheets of these front and back, meaning there are 32 pockets. And next year, I am planning to just use blank Traveler's Company inserts for journaling and memory keeping. And so I thought if I have ephemera from certain events or occurrences that I want to put here, you know, tickets, things like that, that I can isolate them per event so that I know, hey, next time I do journal in my Traveler's Notebook and there's a bunch of stuff in here, I know it was for this particular event and then I can pull everything out and just journal with those. So I thought that would be really convenient. Um, and I could write on these as well, but I will most likely just use them as ephemera holders. I also got a little repair kit and this is just in the standard colors. So they have two versions of this now where if you ever need to replace the tin clasp on your traveler's notebook, or any of the rubber bands on the inside or the outside. Um, there are these spares. Traveler's notebooks, when you order them, already come with a couple of spare elastics and they're usually for like the ones that wrap around. So for example, if this elastic ever gives out on your traveler's notebook, there's probably a spare one in your bag um, that you can always replace that one with. But there's also this elastic right here that connects the tin clasp and runs all the way through uh, the inside of your traveler's notebook. And something like that is a little bit more difficult to repair. And so I just wanted to have a backup. Um, now that I have quite a few traveler's notebooks in my collection, I just wanted to make sure that I have a backup for these. I don't have a camel regular size, but I do have a passport size and Pretty much all of the other colors I do have, at least in the regular size. Yeah, so all four of these I have in the regular size. And then the camel I have in the passport size. So I thought it would just be handy. And then it comes with these instructions on how you can replace the tin clasp and the rubber band there. They have another version where they have slightly different colors, like more complementary colors, I suppose, but I just got the ones that are standard. And then last but not least, I just have this passport size zipper case, which I'm planning to use with my passport traveler's notebook next year. And then I'm going to use this to put my Nolte 1180 planner inside. So um, this is going to be really interesting. This setup is actually inspired by Bridget Wrights on Instagram.
And so how I am planning to do this is there's this larger pocket on the right hand side, which um, comes with a little handy cardboard inside. And what I'm going to do is remove the Nolte from this cover and then actually put this part, the back, inside this larger pocket, which is a perfect fit because this Nolte is a passport size book. And then I'm going to put this through the main elastic of the Traveler's Notebook. I'm just trying it now. It might not be the perfect fit because I already have this wallet insert in here. So I don't actually know what this is going to look like. I have not attempted this before this video, so we'll see how this works. But I mean, that's that looks great, actually. And then maybe I can use this just for whatever week or month that I'm on. Yeah. So as of right now, I think because of this extra wallet insert, this sticks out a little bit. I wonder if I can take it out and see what that looks like. Yeah, so it fits really nicely. I think this will work out perfectly for next year. And um, I just really like that I don't have to put the binding on here through too much stress by putting it through the main elastic, but I can have the back right here and I can put, you know, maybe washi tape samples or, you know, other things in this pocket. This is always useful to have, I think, like a little zipper pocket. And then I can close it up and that's perfect. And I'll have a little ballpoint pen there with the tag wrapping around it. And that is my sort of everyday carry setup for 2024, just a little preview. So that is how I'm going to use the zipper pocket for next year. That's why I got it alongside all of the other 2024 things. So that is everything I got from Travelers Company USA, the 2024 goodies, as well as a couple of other things. And I'm really excited to put everything to use in the coming months. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.